What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here for another AKW class comparison. In this video, I'm going to be comparing Void Highlord and Shadowstalker of Time for soloing. Now, just to be clear, the background footage you can see in this video is not representative of the points I make in the video. When I tested these classes, I used the best combos possible, and as such, you can be sure that my testing was fine. Also, just as a side note, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a video a friend of mine made about our trip to Hawaii earlier in the year. You can watch my sister attempt to strangle me while I spin a fidget spinner if you're interested in that sort of thing. If you're not already familiar with this series, basically I explain both these classes briefly and then I talk about which of these two classes is better for the purpose of the video. In this case, the purpose of the video is soloing. If you'd like to know more about either of these classes mentioned in the video, then I'll have both of my guide videos for both Shadowstalker of Time and Void Highlord linked in the description down below. Let's start by talking about Void Highlord. Void Highlord needs no introduction. It's known as the hardest class in AQW to farm. Firstly, it's probably got the greatest survivability potential in the game. Not only can you reduce the damage you take by a significant amount, you also have a much larger than average health pool, and you have two heals, a lifesteal and a hot, both of which are super effective. Now you have all the survivability because two of your abilities consume some of your own HP, but all of these factors combined make for overall a super good health slash mana regeneration model. Of course, we've got to mention Void Highlord's damage as well. All of its adeal abilities deal pretty great damage. Consistent 4k crits on all abilities and your nuke can hit 10k or higher. It's not hard to see why people call this the strongest class in the game. But there's also a Dark Horse, a lesser known, lesser owned class, Shadowstalker of Time, the 2017 calendar class. Shadowstalker of Time, first of all, is incredibly difficult to use and really requires you to know the perfect combo to get the most out of it, and sometimes RNG or lag can completely screw you up, but once you know the perfect combo and you've memorized it, you can consistently get 50k nukes over and over again. The class is absolutely insane, not only with its damage output, but its animations and its complexity and its price. For the first time ever, this year's calendar class was actually obtainable in-game for 6,000 ACs. So like Void Highlord, you pay a really high price for this class, except in a very different way. Survivability is perhaps an area that Shadowstalker of Time is lacking in, but as long as you're a pretty high level, most bosses aren't really going to po pose much of a challenge anyway. Thanks to Silent, who helped me out figuring out a bunch of the, the little niche details of this class and helping me out with a really good combo, I wouldn't have been able to make this video without his help. I'll leave his Twitter linked in the description if you want to go check him out. So what about which of these two classes is better at soloing? Well, this is where it gets interesting. Soloing encompasses two main areas, survivability and damage. With survivability, there's no competition. Void Highlord easily wins this area. Damage, on the other hand, isn't as easy to make a simple call. I went and measured the DPS of both these classes against a 115k health boss, and I found that Shadowstalker of Time has significantly higher damage output over Void Highlord. 500 more DPS to be exact. The thing is with Void Highlord is it has better burst DPS. As soon as you start the fight, Void Highlord is going to be dealing pretty close to its max potential DPS, and so against lower health bosses, it'll probably be more even when comparing the damage of these two classes. Shadowstalker of Time takes a while to ramp up its damage output because it uses a nuke system where you sort of got to reflect the damage you've already dealt, which means you can actually stack this effect up as the fight goes on. So this DPS difference of 500 will actually increase massively as you fight larger and larger health bosses. What I'm trying to say here is Shadowstalker of Time is actually better than Void Highlord. That's right, Void Highlord has been dethroned. Shadowstalker of Time is the best soloing class in the game. Now before you start screaming at me telling me that I'm wrong, they're both exceptionally good soloing classes, without a doubt. They both own, have their own advantages and disadvantages. Shadowstalker of Time is very hard to use, has just average survivability, and actually has pretty poor mana management, but it has absolutely insane damage output. Void Highlord is very easy to use, has absolutely insane survivability, and has really good damage. Void Highlord is more well-rounded, but the most important part of a soloing class, in my opinion, is its damage, and Shadowstalker of Time simply deals more damage than Void Highlord. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, maybe you want to watch me being strangled now that you've heard the result. If so, go to the first link in the description down below, and you can watch a video that my friend made about our trip to Hawaii. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.